October 31 falls on a Saturday this year, but the fun has started early for UWW students. Student organisations have organised a trick-or-treating event in the Wells Towers and set up a haunted mansion in the UC. Celebration started when the Hamilton Room was transformed into a haunted mansion. Simplified entertainment were employed to set up the event. They were responsible for constructing the mansion, designing costumes, music and creating the overall atmosphere. Career Leadership Development and University Housing sponsored the event. They were hoping for a turnout of 300 to 500 people. The mansion was open to the general public and everyone of all ages. The first hour was a PG version for those who wanted only a mild thrill. Reaction to the spooks were mixed. Some were too scared to enter, others screamed and many took it in their stride. As you walked through the maze you were greeted by prisoners, zombies, jokers, vampires and Dracula. There's also been a massive night of trick-or-treating at Wells Residence Halls, where children yeah, of the Whitewater community were invited. The aim of the event was to bring the community into UWW and instill in the children the Bleed Warhawk mentality early. It gets the community com to come to campus. A lot of times the community is very much just hearing a lot of the negatives or maybe seeing a lot of the things like the partying, the very loud and very um, you know disruptive behavior. Groups of students volunteered to provide candy and plan activities for the kids to do while they were at the residence halls. Judas was transformed into an activity zone. Pumpkin painting, colouring in, ice spy and a scavenger hunt were just some of the activities children could choose from. Uh, I thought it was really cool seeing all like the community come to the college and be involved with everything. So it was nice to integrate them with the university. Students were encouraged to dress up in a family-friendly way. As you walked through the hall, you could spot students dressed as everything from Batman to Tinkerbell. Resident Hall Association organised the annual event. 35 units participated and 70 children from the Whitewater community attended. So sort out your costume, stock up on candy because Halloween is just around the corner. And with homecoming on that same week, it's going to be a double celebration. This is Caitlin Mason for UWW TV.